you can't force help on someone. Um, we look at our, our, you know, taking it to a bigger extreme, look at our adventures in the Middle East. You can't bomb someone to liberty. You can't bomb someone to freedom. You can't force them to accept that. They have to come to that themselves. And, and it's that way in all things, right? All we can do is offer a hand, offer information, offer help. But we can't force anyone to take it and, and actually achieve freedom. Likewise, taxes are charity. You can't take my money away from me and then say, oh, look, we did something good with it. That's not charity. Charity is when I take my goods, time, services, and freely give them to other people, right? That's charity. And I, 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 that's why I find the tax system so offensive is that it takes away my ability to be charitable mm -hmm. and turns it instead into a, uh, I don't know, some sort of racketeering scheme where, uh, you know, you're taking my money by force and telling me it's okay because we did part, part of it went to something good that I don't even know about and has run horribly and inefficiently. Well, well, and that's not to say that certain government organizations shouldn't be charities. Like, mm -hmm. if, there was, if, if NASA was a, a charity... I would give money to NASA freely, and there would be no need for taxation to make sure that they got money. Well, the food stamp program, right? Like, I don't want to see anybody starve to death. Are you kidding me? I don't, exactly. I don't want to see kids, and especially kids. Like, they're mm -hmm. born into it. It's not like they made a choice, right? So, I, you know, I, I think that the problem is these systems, when they get so large and they're at the federal level, they're so disconnected from the ground. Um and, and it inherently adds all these layers of bureaucracy, right? You've got the feds, and then you've got the state, and then you've got uh, um, all the, the remote offices that, that are there for the benefits. Instead of being community-focused and voluntarily community-focused, which I think is much better. It's one of the things, actually, I love about Kentucky uh, mm -hmm. is that we actually have the most counties per capita of any state, 120 counties, but only 4.4 million people. Wow. And what that means is that we're hyper-local. Everything's hyper local, and it's great because the lowest levels of government are very, very close to the people, and I think that's good. Um, obviously, I'd prefer it all to be done charitably, but if it has to be done through the government, at least doing it locally means that I have a bigger say and and more control. The people in my community have that. So, oh, oh, okay, sorry. I have to look over my screen to see what's being said. So, sorry. Um, <laughs> it's all nice. It's all nice about you. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, I appreciate that, but. Um, and I, I don't mean to go on a tear here because I know that we have trivia coming up, and that That's is right. one of my favorite yeah, things, too. Yeah, another thing, so, you know, absolutely. But I, I want to see everyone succeed. That, that's what it comes down to, and that, that does, and that includes myself, it includes my wife and my children, uh, my future grandchildren. I, I want to see everyone succeed, and that's why I'm a libertarian, because... Oh, yeah.